Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Badfish and this is another episode of Gone Gaming. We are back in the beautiful city of San Pedro. So if you're new to my channel, San Pedro is my current ongoing city skyline series based off the American West Coast, so welcome. Um, today guys, what we're gonna be doing is we are gonna be building ourselves out another high school in San Pedro. So the city has been hurting a little bit for education, uh, at least as far as high school and elementary goes. We're pretty deeply in the red, so I wanted to put another little high school in here and uh, try to make it a cool like West Coast kind of campus build for the high school. So that's kind of the plan here. So to start out with, you're just gonna see me placing down our buildings for our little high school campus here. So. We got like a gym, a high school obviously, an elementary school, and then like a baseball and football field. So just kind of wanted to spread it out a little bit. Not too, too much just because we are working in the downtown. So there isn't a ton of space to kind of spread out the entire school. Um, so it is kind of a compact little campus, but I think it ends up looking really good So we're just getting the kind of final placement of the buildings down here uh, I tried to fit in the football stadium on this end didn't quite work out as you see So we're gonna pop it over there and then put in some like portable classrooms over on the other side Just to kind of fill in that last little gap and then we're gonna start jumping into um, a bit of detailing here. So we're gonna start out with our baseball field. We're gonna start by fencing it in a little bit. Um, so obviously most baseball fields will have fences kind of going around the foul uh, territory line. So I wanted to have that kind of fenced in and also put in some dugouts. So first we're gonna do just chain link fences going down the side and then for the backstop where it's typically a little bit of a higher fenced in area I used this uh, industrial fence just to kind of mimic that so that way foul balls aren't gonna go flying into the bleachers there and taking someone's head off um, so then for the kind of dugouts here I am using carports so these are actually uh, meant to kind of put on the side of a house and have cars park in but I thought they worked pretty good as dugouts so we're gonna do that with a couple benches right in there just to kind of give that dugout feel but I think they look really nice um, you know sometimes you got to be a little creative with how you use your assets of course and this is kind of another creative thing I'm using a trolley pole to make a foul line pole on the side there so that's kind of our baseball field. Then we're gonna start fencing in our big football field over here and just kind of make some more congregation areas around it. Um, I say this in the live play, but you know, with high school football, uh, a lot of students will just go to hang out and kind of uh, socialize rather than watch the game. So I made sure there was some seating areas there for them to be able to kind of chill out and talk about the week rather than trying to watch a high school football game, which can be a little painful at times. Um, then we're just putting some planters just to kind of uh, give a little more green to green space to this area um, you know I like using those palm trees throughout all of San Pedro as you know if you've seen my episodes before I just think it's nice to add that little pop of green and again kind of have that motif of the you know palm trees going throughout the whole city just kind of tying together different spaces so then in the front walkway of this high school here, I did want it to be a little bit different than just, you know, blank concrete. So I am using these big old kind of brickwork tiles there to just kind of delineate the space, make it look a little prettier, make it look a little more special as you walk into this area. Um, and then we're gonna add some more planters and green space and stuff in the front as well. Uh, again, just to make it pop a little bit more and make it look a little bit more unique as you walk into the school. Um, especially where this is going to probably end up being the biggest high school in San Pedro. I wanted this one to be definitely a little more unique and a little more manicured than just throwing down a couple buildings. So again, just adding some seating areas and stuff right in the front so that way when students come in they have places to kind of hang out outside and kind of chill out before they walk in to go to classes and things like that. Um, and then we're gonna do some like bike parking and stuff on the side and some more planters here uh, These planters are actually really cool. They double as benches So sometimes you'll see sims just kind of hanging out and sitting on them Which I thought was really fun and then here's our bike racks right here So I add a couple here and then a couple on the elementary school again Just for added detail and just to show that people are parking their bikes uh, then I put this big sculpture kind of in the middle of this kind of blank area here and just put some seating down I just thought it was a nice little addition to the campus You know, maybe it was a class gift from one of the seniors or something like that um, But it's just nice to have some more seating areas and 
Again, just fill up that blank concrete so that way it's not just, you know, a big gray blob. And then on the elementary school, same deal, just adding in that little kind of front bricked out walkway and some planters and stuff just to make it look a little prettier. And of course a fountain right in the middle. Um, with these planters, I do just add the palm trees. I don't do as much underbrush and then we will add some more like little seating areas. I think I end up doing like some hedges and benches and stuff. Um, but yeah, you know, I just wanted to make sure there's places for people to hang out, um, places for, you know, people to do things that aren't necessarily school related. You know, maybe they just want to hang out outside or, you know, when they're waiting for their parents to come pick them up, they have a place to sit. So that was kind of the idea behind that. And I just really love this hedge here. I've used this, you know, probably in like every single build I've done in the past like eight episodes. It's just a nice little way to add some seating and some green space as well. So moving on, adding in some more bike racks. Um, I tried to put smaller bikes on this side since this is an elementary school. So there's going to be kids going over here. Um, and then on the back end here, I'm taking out this concrete and we're just going to pop in a little playground on the side here. So kind of fenced it in so that way it's fenced in away from, uh, you know, the road and everything. So random passerbys can't just go into the playground. And um, just putting in some different assets. I use all vanilla assets. I didn't get anything special for this. So it's just vanilla park assets that, you know, you can use um, obviously in your game and just wanted to do a nice little area back there. Um, we are gonna add a little more greenery to it as well. Um, so I didn't want it to just kind of be this blank dirt patch. I wanted to actually add some natural growth. So we're just doing the gum trees and the bushes that I typically do in San Pedro just to add a little bit more green to this kind of back area right here. Um, so that's pretty much it for that little playground. And now we're gonna just add a little more seating and I'm gonna spread a couple of these out. I cut a lot of the seating out because obviously it's just placing down the same stuff. Um, and then on this end, we have some portable classrooms. So I just wanted to add some seating behind them. So that way, if you're doing classes at the portable classrooms and you wanna take a lunch, you don't have to walk all the way back to the main campus. You can just do it right there. And now we're gonna just start landscaping stuff in with our natural growth spaces. Um, so one thing you will notice once I jump to the live play, I will explain this a little bit more in the live play, but I had to rebuild this entire build. Um, my game crashed and I lost everything. So a lot of the landscaping that you're seeing right now is actually gonna change over. I end up um, adding in some more like residential buildings kind of around the campus rather than just doing a ton of green space just cause I thought when I was rebuilding it, there was just a little bit too many trees. Um, so I did take some of those out and add some buildings in that you'll see in the live play, but we're just going to finish fleshing out the rest of that. And then, um, this is kind of where I was talking about having that seating area behind the football field. So we're just doing some planters with the palm trees, and then we're just going to put in some nice little benches and umbrellas and stuff and just places for people to hang out. So, you know, there's a grill on the other side so they can go grab some food and hang out and talk with their friends, you know, even during school hours, maybe this is just a nice place for the students to hang out and things like that. Um, but now we're just gonna start finishing out the build by putting down our stains and stuff and scuffing up the concrete and making it look a little more dirty. And then of course, adding in some lights and stuff like that just to make sure that it's well lit during the nighttime. Um, so as you see, I'm just putting cracks down in different areas that maybe see a lot of foot traffic or car traffic and then just putting lights around the seating areas and um, around the entrances and things like that just to make sure they're brightly lit and it looks nice at night. Um, but that is just going to about do it to the, for the time lapse here, guys. So we are going to jump into a live play section for you. So I'm just going to go ahead and let the music play out for the rest of this. But I do hope you enjoyed that time lapse and I will see you in the live play. Enjoy. Hey guys and welcome to the live play section of today's build first things first if you're noticing any minor differences between what you just saw in the time lapse and what you're seeing here on the live play there's a reason for that um, basically what had happened was once I had finished building and I was doing kind of my cinematic shots and stuff 
the game crashed and I lost everything. I lost the entire build, which was uh, super fun for me. It was a bit of a rough day yesterday, but I ended up rebuilding all of it. I tried to keep it um, the same. I used screenshots that I had already had from my previous build to kind of mimic it. So it should be looking more or less the same from what you guys just saw. But you will notice some minor differences, like for example, uh, this is a different mascot. It's now the Colts instead of the Devils and things like that, but it should be mostly the same. So let's go ahead and jump right into it and we'll start with the sports field down here. So this is a King Leno asset. I think it looks really nice. Um, he has like a high school collection that I utilize for this. So we have this nice high school football field with the track running around it. I added some extra seating areas on the back here. So. Um, you know, when it's game day, if people wanted to hang out and just have food or, you know, whatever, didn't feel like watching the game, which if you've ever been to a high school football game, you know, a lot of people go just to hang out and not watch the game. Um, but just wanted to have that little seating area. And then we got this nice track going through here with the bleachers and the grill and stuff. And it's actually usable. So people are hanging out over here. We got, you know, these grandpas running laps, I guess. So that looks nice. And then as we move over to here, our other sporting area, this is our nice little baseball field. This is also from that King Leno pack. So I'd added some extra stuff to this one. Um, what I did was I put this chain link fence going all the way around it, added these poles in to act as like your foul ball poles. So these are actually like, I there's something to do with trolleys. I don't know exactly what the name of the asset is, but this is like a trolley pole that I'm using as a foul line pole over here. And of course, um, I did these dugouts, which I think I've done before, but the dugouts, I utilized carports actually. So these are meant to be like parking, like little extra garages and stuff. Um, but I'm using them as dugouts. I think they actually look really nice as dugouts and just put some benches right on through in the middle. And then this is like our tall industrial fence over here that I'm using as a nice big backstop. And then another carport behind it as kind of like your announcer's booth kind of deal. But again, these are really nice assets. The bleachers look great, the field looks great, all that good stuff. So as we move through over here, um, these are nice little portable classrooms. Um, if you're unfamiliar with the concept of portable classrooms, those are things that honestly you see a lot in um, bigger high schools in America. Basically, you know, as the population of San Pedro grew around this high school slash elementary school, they might have had more students than they had capacity to fill. So they get these portable classrooms and put them down to have some extra room to take on extra students. And that's kind of the idea behind these. These are just extra area for the students and things like that. And then back here, I did put like just some extra seating and stuff. So if people have lunch, instead of having to walk all the way to the other buildings, they can just have lunch out back right here. And then moving on, uh, this is our nice little elementary school over here. So I did kind of a nice little walk up to it with a fountain and some brickwork and benches and stuff. And then in the back here, we have our nice little playground for the kitties to hang out and, uh, you know, play around during their recess time. So I just wanted to have that kind of fenced in in the back here. And then um, over here, of course, we got all the bike parking and stuff. So the kids who bike to school can park their bikes and all that good stuff. And then uh, this guy, this is just a nice little light sculpture. It lights up at night, which is really cool. Um, but I just wanted to put this down with some extra seating. So, you know, maybe this was like a senior class gift or something, or, um, you know, maybe it was something that the school just really wanted to have a little bit extra pop to their campus, but just did that with some seating right in here, right next to the baseball field. Um, and then this is kind of like our sports gymnasium right here. So really nice little asset here. I just saw it on the workshop today. So I just added that in as like a nice little gymnasium for people to hang out and, um, you know, just add to the campus again. And then of course we have our nice big high school. I really like this asset. I think it's called the Regis High School on the workshop, but I just really liked it. I like popping in these parking lots right in back and just kind of the, the coloring and stuff. I thought it went really nice with kind of a West Coast theme. So just put some planters in back of it and the parking. And then as we come through the front, um, I did do just some extra seating areas. And again, the brickwork in the front, just to kind of make it pop a little bit more and look a little more pretty. Apparently everybody's just walking through the fountain, which is nice. And then we have these little like uh, planters with the 
big palm trees these actually double as benches too so every now and then you'll see people kind of sitting on them um, but I thought this came out really good I like this high school a lot compared to the one I built you know five or actually like seven or eight episodes ago maybe even nine or ten episodes ago so kind of my idea I wanted to have rival high schools in San Pedro so you know this is San Pedro High School South and then all the way up here we have uh, San Pedro High School North over on this side so maybe they have you know rivalry games and stuff like that so I just thought that was kind of a fun addition you know they both got football stadiums so they're both uh, football schools so maybe they have kind of crosstown rivalry games and stuff like that um, but yeah I mean I think it came out really good I think it's a nice little campus to add in we definitely needed some more high school um, if you take a look here we have like university we're doing great with availability and things like that we got tons of availability for that Elementary school, we're you know close to yellow, but we're still in the red. And then high school, before I built this, was like down here in the red, but now we're close to that yellow again. So we might even build some more schools at some point just to get our education closer to the green. But for now, we're looking pretty good. But I thought it came out really nice. You know, let me know what you guys think as far as the high school goes down below. You know, definitely if you uh, attended high school in California, let me know if this looks anything like a california based high school i think i tried to come at least somewhat close by having kind of the campus motif rather than just one big building um, i know a lot of california high schools will kind of have like a spread out campus but yeah i'm really happy with it uh you know i think even with having to do the rebuild um i think it still came out nice it was a was a pain in the butt that's for sure it definitely took a lot out of me but you know again let me know what you guys think and if you did enjoy the video definitely leave a like down below that really helps me out and if you're new to the channel certainly subscribe i typically post like three episodes a week and it's all you know detailed builds and different stuff and san pedro is heavily featured but we're going to jump into some cinematic shots now for you guys so i really hope you enjoy those and i will see you in the next one have a good one peace